Hey, this is Joe with SoFi, and in this video, we are going to import a CSV into a plugin's custom fields. So over here, I have WBG Books, and what it does is it adds a books post type, and then it has categories and several custom fields for the book data. So to get started, I'll go down here to All Import and select New Import. And I can upload a file, download a file, use an existing file. I'm going to download a file. So over here, I have a URL. I'm just going to add this in here. And there you go. So I have this stored in Google Sheets. So we're downloading that with WPL import. And then we can select new items or existing items. I don't have any books on my store yet, and I want to import new ones. So I'll select new items, and then we're going to create new books. And whatever plugin you have here, if it adds a custom post type, the custom post type will just show up down here, and you can select it. Um, so I'm going to select books, and we'll continue to step two. And then here is my CSV. So this is the first row, just to take a look at the data, make sure it came in okay, and I have 1,300 books. So we'll continue to step three. And over here on the left, this is my post. So this is my book, and then here on the right, this is my import data. So we'll just start dragging stuff in. So for the title, drag that in, and we have our description. And then our images, we have a cover image over here. That's right here, so we'll drag that. And this is gonna download images hosted from that site, import it into WordPress. Um, I can also use images currently in my media library, so if I already had the images inside, then we can match them um, with the file names. And then if I uploaded these images to my server, I would be able to uh, match the file names from there, if I just put them in this folder here. But in this case, I have the URL, so that's gonna work. We'll leave all these image options um, as they are, and continue down here to custom fields. So, no custom fields are present in your database for books. So the way WPL import works, is it's going to detect the custom fields for any of the books that I have. If we go over here to books, you'll see I don't have any books. So there's no custom field to detect for WPL import. So what we have to do is we have to add a new book. So I'm gonna make one here called test book. And then I'm just gonna fill in all of this stuff. So author name, publisher name, it really doesn't matter what you put in here. We're just adding dummy data. So WPL import can detect it. So country, USA, language, whatever, it really doesn't uh, matter. Uh, five by five, five, whatever, download thing, example.com slash URL, file size, 150 megabytes. There you go. So they have a couple features here that are locked down in the professional version. If we upgraded, we would have more of these custom fields to play with, but this is fine for now. And then I have my SEO plugin here, test, title, meta, description. I'm using SEO press here. It's just going to add some custom fields for that. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and publish this. And now I'm just going to go ahead on my custom fields here. I'm going to refresh this page. So I'm going to drag in my title again, drag in my description, go down here, do my image. And then custom fields. Your website is using custom fields, see detected fields, and there we go. So let's start dragging things in here. Author name, let's see if we can find that over here. Must be somewhere, there you go. Here's our author, Suzanne Collins. Uh, download link, I'm gonna leave that blank. These are not eBooks, these are real books. Publisher, so over here, publisher in, our ISBN is down here. Number of pages, the publishing country, do we have that in my data? Let's check. Doesn't look like it, so we'll just leave that blank. The language, over here, English, dimensions, don't see that. File size, real books, not ebooks, status, not sure what that is. We're just gonna leave that blank. And then SEO title. What we'll do is we'll say, here's the title of my book by author. 
and for the description. There we go. And I don't know what these are, so I'm just going to leave those blank. All right. That looks pretty good. Let's see what else we have. So we have taxonomies. So I'll drag in my categories over here. So I have genres. Now, we have multiple genres over here, but each book has just one category. So we don't want to put that here. Each book has multiple categories. That makes sense. And then each book have, has hierarchical categories. These don't look hierarchical, right? Fantasy, science, young adult. So these are just mostly um, multiple categories that are not related to each other. So we'll drag that in here. Now, these have this little single quotation mark. I want to get rid of those. They're separated by comma, so the comma stays. That's what's going to separate these, but I want to get rid of that. So what we'll do is we'll use a real quick and dirty PHP function here. So I'm going to start this off with str replace, and I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to replace it with nothing, and that's my target, genres. We'll close the PHP function and then close the syntax. So this right here is my PHP function. In WPL import, you wrap PHP functions in brackets. Uh, we have documentation on this. You can do a lot of really fun stuff here. You can actually go down here and you can write more complicated PHP functions and then reference them up here. Um, if any of this data up here, if I needed it to be processed in uh, PHP, we could do that pretty easily. Any of these fields in WPL import can be processed with PHP. Um, so it's pretty much that easy. What we can do is to see if this works, we can go up here to our content area. We'll put it at the front paste it in and we'll preview. And there you go. With the commas, no single quotes. Looks good. So, every, all my custom fields are set up. I got my categories in there. Uh, we have some other book options. You can take a look at those if you need uh, any more data. You can take a look at those if you need to. We're gonna continue to step four. Then we just need to auto detect our unique identifier and we're done. So we have some options here. Um, we can leave these with just the defaults for now. And we'll continue. And confirm and run the import. All right, so this is going to take a few minutes. I'm going to let it run, and we'll come back when it's finished. All right, that didn't take too long. Import's complete. Let's check out our books. So here we go. And I see one problem off the bat here. So the book status is inactive. So that custom field that said status, I should probably set that as active. Let's see if we have any other issues here. Let's take a look at all of our books. So we have all of our books listed here. Yeah, and none of them are showing up. And that's probably because of this status here. So what we should do is let's go back to our import and let's rerun it and change the status. I'm gonna go back here to manage imports. And we're going to edit the template. And this is my import. And let's go down here and status. So let's just set that to active. Perfect. Okay, so now what we're going to do is now that our template's updated, we're going to change our settings. And we're going to tell WPL import, because we don't want to waste a bunch of time updating a bunch of data. We're going to unselect everything. And then we're just going to tell it to update this, that one field. So update all custom fields, no. Update only the selected custom fields. We'll leave the rest alone. We're going to search for active. It's WBG status. There we go. So that's the only field that we're going to update. We're going to save our import configuration and run our import. So this is now going to run much faster because we're only updating that one custom field. And I'm going to let this run, and I'll come back when it's finished. All right, import is complete. Let's go over here to books and look at that. There we go. So all 1300 books have been imported. Let's check out this one. There we go. Looks pretty good. All right. So that is how you import custom fields from any CSV to any WordPress plugin or theme using WP all import. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.